fellow YouTubers. So I'm doing my morning routine, getting up, getting ready to go see about my dad and whatnot. And I had to read this latest um, gossip and tea to you. As most of you YouTubers know, we like to shop at Best Buy and some other electronic stores. So let me give y'all the latest on what they're doing right now, right? So it says here on the Wall Street Journal how you how you how your returns are used against you at Best Buy. So check this out. Best Buy has started a new return policy. So if you buy three things and return them now, like you are only allowed three things in a year to return to Best Buy. Now I don't know about y'all, but this creates a problem for me being a lot of times I may buy uh, something like a cell phone case because this is what the man in this this um news um uh, story said he bought three three cases like he, he bought more than three cases he bought like four or five different color phone cases for his son his son picked out the cases that he wanted the three that was left over never used or never opened the man carried back to the store so the store informed him you know you don't have any more returns after this now keep in man in mind the man said he bought five thousand dollars worth of electronics out of the electronic everything he bought it was all the cell phone cases three of which he never opened never used didn't want he carried them back and so he said he ain't never shopping at best buy before so he said the best buy the the cell phones equal like eighty seven dollars and eighty something cent he said you want to lose a, a customer that just spent five k over $87.83 for three cell phone cases. He said Best Buy done lost all his business. So I'm telling all y'all this for this reason. A lot of us buy our YouTube stuff from Best Buy. We love Best Buy. We buy our storage cards from there. We buy our cell phone cases from there. We buy, I know I buy a lot of my, um, um, my, my mic from there. Um, tripods from there. Y'all seen my hauls from there. So y'all know it's one of my favorite places to shop. So, I mean, my thing is, I think it's BS because, I mean, I know there have been times that I return probably at least three things in less than a year because, like, I had bought this thing for my um, vlogging camera where you put it on a holder for my, I had it for my son to hold the camera more steady. I returned that. Then I had bought, like, this tripod. It was some BS. I returned that. I had bought this camera bag for my um, vlogging camera. It didn't have enough pockets on it. I carried it back and exchanged it for a new one. Um, it's just different stuff. I bought like a fitness watch. It was crap. I went back and bought a more expensive fitness watch that I should have bought in the first place. So I'm saying that that is taking money from me because all the stuff that I returned, I had bought the cheaper version of. I went back and bought a more expensive version of that I probably should have bought in the first place, but I was trying to be cheap. So, I do feel like that is just crap. But not only is Best Buy doing it, it's other chains doing it. But most people, um, chains like L.L. Bean are doing it and several other chains. And I'm going to tell you who I hope don't do it. I hope Walmart don't do it and a couple of other stores don't do it. But um, Amazon has a relaxed policy and um, they're saying... That's where everybody is turning to Amazon. And I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. It's policies like these is going to run people out of business. But they say they do it for fraudulent reasons because people always want to be fraudulent and, and try to get over. So y'all crooks and cons is y'all messing up for all the decent people around here. Anyway, everybody is turning to Amazon now because they'll be able to return their stuff. So I hope people don't go try to con and abuse Amazon now because then if they go and they try to con and abuse Amazon, then we won't even be able to, t to return stuff to Amazon. So I wish people would stop being so deceitful and messing up for all us decent folk around the world. But anyway, so if y'all want to buy y'all YouTube stuff, y'all best stick to Amazon because if it's something you don't like, you'll be able to return it. But I just thought y'all needed to know that important news for y'all go busting up in Best Buy, buying all of this stuff and get home and decide it's some BS and y'all don't like it. And y'all done bought, spent all y'all tax money on $2,000 worth of stuff and y'all need to care, you know, $1,500 of it back because it ain't worth nothing or you want to get a better camera or whatever and then they don't want to take it back and they on some BS. So y'all beware when you go to Best Buy now. I'm going to be honest with you. They, they maybe done lost some of my business because, you know, when you go in there, you you 
the stuff don't have no good description on it as it is. And then you just kind of have to wing it with the stuff that they got up in there because you you just don't know unless you already done research. But anyway, I thought y'all needed to know that important uh, information. I'm going to leave the link to this article down here below somewhere. Let me go and send it to myself because, you know, I lose this article because I read so much. That's just a nerd in your girl. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Be sure to share this so all your friends will see it. Because I think they need to know too. Like, subscribe. Comment below if you've had issues returning things to Best Buy any other store. And they cite a $3 limit. And I'm going to tell you somewhere else you can't return nothing to. That doggone freaking uh, Coles. Coles, they don't want you to return nothing up in there. They put you through so much hell in there. You just be like about to burn it up in the store. But anyway, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.